right now, uh, both Derek and I have been working really hard with, uh, we have about three different promoters who really want to do something big with her. Um, Anna's asked us if she could just relax, you know, because you have to remember that she just won two world titles in less than three months. I don't know any female fighter that's ever done that. It's ever won two world titles in less than three months. Uh, she, she fought 20 rounds within that time with two very difficult opponents. Um, so at this point, we're really just kind of, uh, you know, we're, we're just waiting to see which is going to be the best option for her. I think that uh, she probably won't fight again until late March, uh, maybe early April. Uh, but her ESPN feature is coming out in April, so she may be doing a fight before that uh, ESPN E60 documentary comes out. Right now, Anna just really wants to take some time to, to rest, and, and she won two world titles in, in a matter of a few months, and, and that's 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 really unheard of, especially in women's boxing. But at the same token, we, we definitely want to keep the momentum going. Um, as much as she loves to rest and, and, and take it easy, uh, at heart she's a fighter, and, and she's she's eager to get back in there again and, and start camp all over again. And, and, and like Angelo said, or she's really um, looking forward to to having to fight in the Philippines and visiting the Philippines. So and then that's always been a bit, big thing for her to, to go back to, to, to her roots, to go back to the motherland and, and experience that uh, in, in, in its truest form. So no no but no better way to do that but but to go to the Philippines. So that's uh, that's definitely in the works. Well let's see uh, Derek wants another uh, world title fight. Uh, um, Anna wants another world title fight. Uh, I, I had uh, had conversations with the WBC. Uh, Anna currently right now is the mandatory number two to fight for the WBC so she cannot uh, the, the mandatory number one and the champion are uh, negotiating a fight right now, so Anna would have to wait for the winner of that match. Now Anna doesn't want to wait, so uh, she's she. We're working out a deal right now to see if we can go get the WBA 122 pound uh, championship. Uh, and if that if that happens, then she'll be going for the 122 pound world title, which will be her third title. She would own three of the four titles at that point, uh, which I think would make her pound for pound. Uh, you have to start saying to yourself, even though she doesn't have 10 fights yet, someone who owns three of the, of the legitimate world titles, it'd be hard to argue um, who is the best 122 pounder out there when you own 75% of no, you know, uh, but we'll see. We'll, 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 we'll see what happens with that. Anna really wants to be able to say, uh, when it's all said and done, I was the best 122 pound fighter that that played in the sport. You know, that, that did the sport. So uh, uh, doing a fight like that would be huge in the Philippines if we could facilitate uh, a super fight. You know, for uh, let's uh, let's say that the WBC. Uh, world champion at 122 is from Argentina. She's got a huge following, and then Anna's got you know obviously all of her fans. And then we do a big fight like that in the Philippines to to do who is the best 122 pounder in the world. That would be huge. That'd be great. And uh, there'd be no better place to do that in, than in the Philippines. But again, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. It's up to Derek. Uh, Derek's the one that's uh, working those things out uh, right now. So we'll see what. Uh, I know it's going to be very hard. Uh, I have two belts, a lot of other uh, people want that, and it's a position that people want a lot of for. And, you know, I think I'm in the best, best position I can be, you know, how many people can say that they're a two-time world champion. So um, I'm going to go ahead and train hard, I'm going to take it seriously, um, take a little break from boxing a little bit, just kind of reassess myself and see uh, where, where my body's at and how I want to go to here. And, you know, just go from there. But for right now, yeah, I'm, I'm very anxious, I'm very, very excited about the whole thing.